In this lesson, I'd like to show you two formulas that you could use to find the areas of a triangle, especially if it's not a right triangle. First is the Heron's formula. To find the area of a triangle using Heron's formula, first thing you need to do is find the value of S, where S is A plus B plus C, or take the sum of the three sides of a triangle, and then divide it by two. And then once you find the value of S, you take to find the area, you take the square root of S, Right there times s minus a or s minus one side of the triangle times s minus b times s minus c. So it's a pretty straightforward formula where once you find the value of s, you could quickly find the area of a triangle. So let me show you, or let me use the formula using a sample triangle here, where we have 53, 43, and 72 as the size of the triangle. So first we need to find the value of S, where we do 53 plus 43 plus 72, all over two, which equals 84. Then the area of the triangle will be square root of 84, the value of S that we found, times 84 minus 53, the side of a triangle, times 84 minus 43, times 84 minus 72, where if you work this out, you'll get 11, uh, 131.89. Here's the second formula that you could use to find the area of a triangle, again, if it's not a right triangle. So first, you take the half of B times C, meaning the two sides of a triangle, times sine of the angle that's in between the two sides given. Here's another one. Again, take the half of a times B, in this case, will be A and B times sine of angle C, again, the angle that's between the two sides. And of course, the third one is going to be 1 half AC times sine of B. So basically, what we're doing is we're taking 1 half and then multiply that by the two sides and then multiply that by sine of the angle between the two sides. Let's go ahead and use that formula on this example here. So we're given side B, which is 52, and A, which is 90, and angle C as 102, which again is between the two sides given. So the area of the triangle for using the formula will be 1 half AB sine of C, or 1 half of 90, which is side A, times 52, which is side B, 52 on the left, and then finally times by sine of 102, the angle between the two sides where if you work this out, you'll get 2289 square meters.